This is the seventh step and the eighth video in my Rubik's Cube solving tutorial. In this, in this part of the video, you will be taught how to turn the corners on the 3x3 cube in order to solve the cube entirely. As you can see on my example cube, all of the corners that were not turned properly in the last step are now turned properly, and the whole cube is solved. So, this step requires one easy to remember algorithm, but one a little one little annoying thing that you need to make sure you remember. The algorithm is only four moves, but it will be performed more than once. So, position one of the corners that needs to be turned in the front right, like this. And now, this is where you're going to be using the down face, so make sure that you turn the down face correctly each time. Each time. So, now that you have it in the front right, you want to do an R prime, D prime, R, D. Now, as you can see, it messed up the bottom, your metal layer edge piece, and the piece wasn't even back here. So you may be thinking, well, that's useless. But the thing is, if you perform it one more time, this piece will now be put back up here. The bottom and middle will still be messed up, but I will address that in one minute. So all you need to do is do that one more time. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now as you can see here, my corner is solved, but my first layer and my, la and my middle layer is not solved anymore. So you may be thinking, well, now do I have to go back and solve all the rest of it? No, because all you have to do is turn the upper layer, or the U-face, a certain amount of times before you get the... until you get the last corner into the front right spot. So in this case, since it's back here, all I have to do is a U2. And now that this piece is above it, I can perform that algorithm again. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now the corner with yellow is down here. Everything is still messed up except for this piece, but that doesn't matter at the moment. So we want to perform that R prime, D prime, R, D one more time to get this piece back up here. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now the bottom layer is still messed up. The middle layer is still messed up but this corner is back into its same position. The problem is, it's still not turned properly. So, I will do the algorithm two more times, as you would normally do. R prime, D prime, R, D. It's down here. Everything is still messed up, so I do it one more time. R prime, D prime, R, D. And now everything is solved, and all I need to do is turn the last layer a few times in order to completely solve my cube. And now you have completely solved your Rubik's Cube 3x3. Now, there are a few things that I did not address in this video. In my case, only two opposite corners were not turned properly. But yours may have all four. It may have three not turned properly. But there is no possible way that only one will be turned incorrectly. If your cube ends up something like this, where everything is solved except for a corner, that is impossible. So what you need to do is take apart your cube and put the corner back in properly. But if there are two, three, or four, then you will have to perform the R prime, D prime, R D a number of times on each corner making sure that it gets back into its correct spot. So I will do one short example of what I mean by this. Just let me get it into one of those positions. As you can see here, all of the corners are in their correct spot, but they're not turned properly. So now I'm going to go through the R prime D prime R D one more time the whole top layer to show you how you do it if four were turned and then you just apply the same idea to if three were turned so you position one that needs to be turned in the top right and you do R prime D prime R D and now your piece is down here so you're performing it again R prime D prime R D 
It's in the correct spot, but it's not turned properly. So you're going to do it two more times. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now this piece is turned properly. So now what you want to do is take another corner that's not turned properly and put it where in the front right. Now just perform that algorithm two more times. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now it has resolved the bottom layer, and these two corners are correct, but these two aren't. Sometimes, it won't even correct this, but it will correct the other ones. In which case, you continue to do the R prime, D prime, R, D until that corner is solved, and then you just keep moving the top layer, putting a new piece in the front right, and performing the algorithm. So now I only have two to do. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now as you can tell, this piece is still not turned properly, so I have to do the algorithm two more times. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. This corner is turned properly, so put the last one there, the last corner that needs to be turned. Do R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now all you need to do is turn the last layer until it matches up, and you've completely solved your Rubik's Cube 3x3. Three three. Now, the one annoying thing that you needed to know about this last step is to only turn the top layer when putting new corners in the front right. Don't turn the whole cube, or it will mess the whole thing up again. So, that is how to solve the Rubik's Cube 3x3 three three tutorial. If your cube is not solved, then you need to either go back to the beginning or find out which step that you missed and click on the link in the description to find that step. I hope you enjoyed and could understand this tutorial, and if you have any questions or comments, then send me a message or leave a comment, and if you want to show off solving the cube for the first time, then just post a video response.